Oh, hell no. What the hell are you doing in my apartment, Troy? You look different. When you're gone, things change. I miss you. We're not having a dope conversation, Prince. It wasn't my intention to quit on you the way I did. I know I told you I would never do anything like that. And for that, I'm sincerely sorry. Oh, you sorry, all right? Sorry, piece of shit. What? What are you doing in my apartment, Shoy? Your apartment? Last I checked, both our names were on that lease. I still have my key. I'm gonna be needing it back. I'm actually surprised you didn't change the locks by this time. Hell, I should've. What makes you think you could just come back in my life and we're just gonna be okay? I just need a time for myself to reevaluate our relationship with a clear mind. Yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, Troy. Don't me. A very caring fucking man that has had your back at your lowest points in life. You move out of our place that I worked hard for and just leave me stranded in the end. There, I evaluated our relationship just like that. And it took less than a minute. Everybody doesn't have your mindset, Prince. Everybody doesn't think like you do. You think you know everything, you really don't. Well, I know just enough to know where I stand in your life. So let's just leave it at that. I'm trying to get us on good terms, Prince. I want us to work. No one fits me like you do. You are literally feeding me everything that I don't eat. And it's cold. What? No, I'm not. So let me get this straight. You want to get back together? That's what I said. Troy, what about the girls? And the temptation that comes along with, you know, you being a local celebrity. Man, I don't care nothing about that. I care about you and only you. I'm laser focused on you. I want you to move in with me. What? You hurt me. I want you to move in with me. I got a little spot up in Buckhead, right next to Fifth Plaza. You don't have to work? I don't have to work. No. I got you. I'm not evil, Prince. Facetious. Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to think about it, Troy. Okay. Well, you know how to reach me? My number's still the same. <laughs> I'll call you. You're late, as usual. But I'm here, that's all that matters. Here. What's this? Something with seasoning in it. You know, the secret ingredient to taste. Oh, you got jowls. I have taste buds. Uh, what up, my boy? Oh, hello, how are you? Hi, you must be Corey. Yeah. I'm Mariah, your parents' executor. Executor, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, it's the legal name for the person that's going to read the information on the will. <laughs> Sorry about that, girl. He a little slow. <laughs> Whatever. I knew what that meant. Yeah, Cherie did. Can you tell me how long this is going to take, please? Um, why? You got somewhere else important to be? And do. Don't I always? 
Well, I'm sure whatever hotel sex party you were planning to attend can wait. Extra glory holes, huh? <laughs> Where the hell are you learning all this forced gay jargon from? You and the chipmunks. Um, can, can you have a seat, please? Sure. I promise I won't take up much of your time. I like that. Scout's <laughs> honor. Damn, it's a good Monica. That's right. So Corey, before you came, I was briefing your sister on the dividing process. Nothing too harsh, just some gibberish and some signatures here and there. Okay. Oh, right. uh, Mariah, is it? Yes. Okay. How much am I getting and how long until it hits my hands? Really, Corey? What? That's all you can think about is what you're going to get you know what? You're really a piece of work. Ain't that why Seriously. we both here? To get our coins and move the fuck on with our lives, Monica. I haven't seen your black ass in months. I think you can manage to uproot your semen filled life and think of this as something serious. This is your family. Girl. I'm so sorry, Mariah. <laughs> Usually I have a little bit more couth with my words, you know, on normal days. Hey. It's totally fine. I have an older brother myself that always gives me the runarounds. Oh, but that's great and all. I'm pretty sure he's not quite as amazing as I am, but whatever. Can we just get this out of the way so I can get going, please, Mariah? Thank you. Um, um, Monica, you got a ghost or a new roommate? Monica. <laughs> Wait, wait. Do you have a man in here? You got a nigga? Um. Let me find out. I'm so proud of you. Six. Finally, you ain't single no more. Oh my God, <laughs> Hillman froze over for real. Hey, yo, Monica. She's always single. I think you need some more pepper towel. You're out of pepper towel in the bathroom. Is that lasagna? Mm -hmm. Let me get some. You want some? Please. Oh, here you go. Thank you. Oh. I know you lying. So Thanksgiving is. What the fuck are you doing here? What is he doing here? He's our brother, Cody. Exactly, and I have every right to be here, just like you and Monica. Okay. I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the fuck up out of here before I crash your skull. One. I'm not scared of you. Two. Calm down, Corey. Three. Do you need me to help fucking count? Four. Sit your black ass down. You ain't doing no fighting up in here, not today. Are you okay, Lorenzo? Is he okay, the damn stranger? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. What do you mean, is he okay? Grown men don't have to fight to get their point across. <laughs> oh, you're a grown man now. Wow. You know that word? Hmm. I can't believe this. How are you just gonna let him come in? We don't even know this nigga. He's trying to take our money. Oh, so now you don't know me, Corey? I said what I said, okay? <sighs> I see. You still stuck on that whole me and Nick situation. You know what? You need to move the fuck on. Cause I know I have. I'm gonna keep it to you like this, Lorenzo. What's that? I hate you. Okay. I hate everything you stand for. I hate the fact that you stand in general. All right. I hate your face. It literally gives me discomfort. How did you manage to do my best friend the way that you did and infiltrate my family? Like, <laughs> you, oh, bro, you are a psycho, for real. Like this in your house. And how old are you again? What, 30? I'm 29, bitch. Same difference. We're both grown men. Hell, I'm pushing 35. I ain't trying to fight with you, little boy. The only reason that I'm here is because our sister insisted that I be here. Mm. I come in peace. Thank you, Monica. You could at least let me know he was coming over. Can we talk about this later? We do have some bigger fish to fry. Is it good? Y'all got some salt, it's a little bland. Mmm. Guess somebody else needs some seasoning. Yeah, a little thyme, a little parsley, something. A little blood will work. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck down. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun or make 
Make a bed of green the top of wide open sing. So Corey, you really let really just blow your back out like that? Bitch, I thought you I told were a top. You that I am a top. He just was on top of me when he was riding, but my your business. Right. Anyway, so back to Lorenzo. Ugh. So wait, so you mean to tell me that he had the audacity to just step in and feel like he deserves a piece of the pie? I know, right, bitch? Yep. Like, I can't believe Monica just let him come in and swoop in the way he did. Ugh. You know, God could tell me that Lorenzo was my blood brother and I was still called bullshit. So, you know that only means one thing, right? What? You're fucking delusional. Clearly, you just need to go ahead and accept that your parents had a little secret love child and they just happened to turn out to be my raggedy ass, ugly ass, nasty ass ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Um, that's more than one thing, but nevertheless, facts. Oh, well look who woke up out of their fantasy love trance. Well, nigga taking your time from us because inquiring minds would like to know. Troy. Troy. Wow. Wow what, bitch? What do you have to say? First off, call me that nasty tone down because I don't want any little crackhead friends. I just think it's interesting that you guys are back talking. And what if we are talking? I mean, Prince, you kind of are the poster child for cutting off your exes. I mean, that's really out of character for you. And I mean that in the shadiest way possible. We're not talking. We're communicating. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. We're communicating. Huh. Communicating, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what does that even mean, Prince? Corey, <laughs> it means nothing. Know why? Why? Because it's none of you bitches' business. I'm not telling you anything. Oh, so we're back to keeping secrets again. <laughs> Saw how that worked out last time, uh -uh. right? I thought we moved on from yesterday's drama. <clears throat> okay, let's just stop being around the mulberry bush and give us the refill. We want the tea. Girl, you're so gay. I know. <laughs> he came over last night. Y'all fucked. Really, Corey? That's where your thought process went to first. I mean, I'm... it's fucking all you think about? Girl, just go with the story. Shit. Right. We didn't have sex. We just talked, communicated. About what? <gasps> Bitch, are y'all about to get back together? No, no. N I mean, I don't know. He did mention, like, wanting to get back together and, like, give it another shot. I just, I'm apprehensive as shit. Why? I mean, other than the fact that you just don't date exes. Right. That's a good part of the reason. Troy is now in a position to carry me, and to be honest, I'm, I don't know how to feel about it. Carry oh, fuck that friend. You've been carrying his ass for way too long. You've been his sugar mama for a little too long, friend. A little too long. It's about time for you to flip the script. Um, listen, let's be honest. Bitch, you can carry me, because Troy's coin is wealthy and healthy. Listen, like, he couldn't get rid of me. Mm -mm. He, he can call me now. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> great. I have a slut and a gold digger for friends. This is honestly amazing. What did I ever do to deserve you two? I am so lucky. You are. You are. Yes, what sure. ever. Look. I'm not getting back with Troy, okay? I'm just intrigued by his comeback game, if that's even a thing. Comeback game. <laughs> I guess that's all we're gonna get today, friend. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> well, anyway, speaking of jumping the broom. Nobody um, mentioned that. We did not say anything about jumping the broom. Yes, the hell you did. Either way, I'm formally inviting the both of you, you can come too, Prince, to <laughs> Daryl and I's engagement party next month. You, you guys can bring a plus one. I'm gonna feed you bitches. I'm gonna have crab legs and open bar. I'm there, of course. Prince? I actually have something to do that day, I'm sorry. I didn't give you the date, you lying bitch. Look, it's probably best that I don't come. I mean, considering how things went down. I mean, right? Daryl's perfectly comfortable with you being there. He's excited for you to come, honestly. How many times did you rehearse that line? I didn't have to. Ain't no one press about this but you. Everyone else Nobody's is perfectly fine. Playing. You're making this awkward, bitch. Too much. I mean, you could bring Troy. Ha yeah. ha, funny. Stop, no. I'm just saying. Okay, well look, 
I'm not gonna put a gun in your head and force you to come. If you don't wanna show up, then don't show up. I mean, I know I would be there to support my my good friend during his engagement party, but I mean, you know, do you. And, and, and plus, then you hook them up anyway. So like, you're literally doubly obligated to attend. Let me think about it. I'm gonna think about it. Let me sleep on it. What the day that we came? Sleep on that. Sleep on that. Y'all are ridiculous. You're ridiculous. We're gonna be there with bells and whistles, okay? Okay. Come right? On. Of course you will. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do. We got a life, but we'll be there. We don't. Okay. Ooh. Cute, cute. Corey? Huh? Don't look now, but I'm pretty sure this is one of your anal rosebud bottom buddies or whatever you call them. Bitch, I just told your stupid ass not to look, and of course you turn around and look. They don't look familiar. But then again, a the sex probably was lazy or whatever. But it is what it is. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Oh, Corey, you're such a fucking whore. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, you're definitely a whole whore and a half, but I know him. That's the guy that just moved in. Oh, that's. The Well, 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 if it isn't Prince. Hey, Bentley, right? So you do remember my name? Yes, I remember your name. <clears throat> Prince, friend. Prince. Prince! Are you going to introduce us to your new neighbor who you said lives in your building on your floor? Stop. That you said was cute? Stop. <laughs> oh, so okay. you have been talking about me. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, uh, no. No, that's cool. That means I've been on your mind. Oh. I mean, not really. Um, um, I haven't forgotten about you. Mm. So that's why you stood me up the other night? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Bentley, these are my two <laughs> loony, borderline crazy, asshole best friends, Nick and Corey. What's, What's good? Mm -hmm, same. So, Bentley, you said that Prince stood you up last night. Hmm. Wow. Wow, friend. Had quite of a night. I'm See? sorry about last night. Something random came up and I had to take care of it. Came <laughs> up. <laughs> Guys. What's so funny? They're, they're drunk. I That's, missed a joke. No, they're just drunk. <laughs> can I make it up to you? As a matter of fact, you can. No, you lie. What you doing tonight? Tonight? I don't have any plans tonight. Hmm. Well, um, as a matter of fact, what you doing? No. He's with us. Can yeah. you see him? Let's, we can grab a smoothie. Are something. we in modern time? Mm -hmm. Let's see this. A smoothie, didn't he? Mm -hmm. A smoothie? On a Sunday? I mean, that's cute or whatever, but it's like a Monday drink. I'm with it if you are. Yeah, for sure. Wow! wow. You're really about to ditch us for this man you just met yesterday uh, that lives in your apartment building? Life, you think it's so get cute? it, okay? Thank you. How Corey of you? My fault. Corey, bitch, don't Girl, throw me in no, here. No, 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 no. Look, I'm sorry. Perhaps I should have asked the You don't have to ask them shit. To ask. I'm an adult. I'm grown. And I make my own decisions. Mm -hmm. Keep that same energy. You ready? I'm ready when you are. Let's go. Oh. All right. Bye. Don't forget your enema. Stay ready. You gotta get ready. Period. That's my friend. Bop, bop. <laughs> gotta love it. So, um, yeah, there's something about this Bentley character that I don't really care for. Yeah, he got bad juju written all over him. I don't see it for him. And his name is Bentley. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. We definitely gotta keep a watch out on him. I don't know what it is, but my spirit, it ain't right. Something in my Shondo. My discernment's on fleek, and it ain't, it ain't with him. We gonna just mind our business, because every time we stick our head in it, we just never come out good. Shit just be stirring all the time. I mean, yeah, we gonna mind our business, but we still can keep an eagle eye on Honda. <laughs> or Kia Subaru. <laughs> Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Mazda. I don't like him.
I find it hilarious that your name is Bentley and you drive a Honda. Mm. Wait, I'm sorry. What's wrong with a Honda? Because my car is paid for. Nothing. Right. You want more wine? Yeah, I'll take some more. By the way, my last name is Bentley. Still weird. What's your first name? My first name is Bentley. Wait, are you tripping or is it me? <laughs> so wait, your name is, is it Bentley Bentley? My name is Bentley. That's all you need to know, baby. <laughs> Look at me. Interacting with yet another secret withholding man. My mother will be so proud right now. The load of shit you're taking to your grave is infinite. And the nominees for most dramatic goes to... Sorry. I turned into like the gay Steve Wickles when yeah, I'm drinking red wine. Clearly. Mm. So, uh... You're single, you said? That wasn't random as hell. <laughs> I mean, I don't even recount discussing my love life with you. Well, perhaps we should. How about not? Mm. And why not? I just feel like it's the ultimate mood killer. So, uh, you're catching a vibe? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> a little love connection going Boy, on? Boy, no. I'm just having a good time <laughs> here. That's all. You're enjoying your time with me. I mean, you're not a bad addition to my harmony, I guess. <laughs> so, what's up with old boy? The one from your apartment the other night. Let's talk about something a little less boring. Mm. I caught a cypher. He had dope rapper or whatever. I said less boring. I should be going. What? Mm -hmm. You only been like an hour. And we still got more Cabernet. And the piece ain't even here yet. I'm gonna take a rain check. And this bottle. Thank you. Really? Really. I'm really tired. Plus, I've been with you all day. Plus, I smell like a frozen moose titty. I'm, I'm ready to go. Prince, I got towels, washcloths, robes, whatever you need. I got you. Come on. That sounds tempting. I mean, it, it really does. I just, I'm gonna have to graciously bow out. I have work in the morning, so I need to definitely go ahead and go to sleep. Look, I'm really trying to get to know you, but you're making this extremely hard for no reason. I mean, come on, look at me. I don't chase, baby. Okay, that's a real hard reach, especially being that you're the one that's begging me to stay over here, which also means you're doing exactly what you hate, chasing. Touche, touche. Um, I kind of like the fight in you. The Leo in me gets a little riled up whenever any man gives me a little challenge nowadays. Ew, you're a Leo. That explains everything. A uh, beg your pardon? Come again? Elaborate, please. Let's just sum it up to what you see is what you get. Ah, yeah, that's real safe, but I'll take it. I heard it all before. I bet you have. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, I'll cut you off. You smell good enough to buy up what it looks like everything in Living Small. Um, yeah, but 
I bought you some stuff. You got me something. Mm, you know what you gave me. I was like, I got you. <laughs> it's in here. It's in here somewhere. It's so deep in the bag. <laughs> it's, it's, it's real deep in there. <laughs> that's what you say. No, that's what you say. <laughs> well, hang on. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. My guy. Oh my God. Your favorite. It's a candle. Yeah, it's a candle. Um, I know your life's been kind of dark lately, so it's there to help, you know, make it a little bit lighter. Dark. Like me. <laughs> wow. I didn't know it was Christmas. Thank you so much, babe. This is cute. Really Every day with me cute. is Christmas. Yeah. So, Ooh. I talked to Prince today. Oh. Did you think he's a little thickly? Um, but nonetheless, I invited him to the party. Um, he's kind of on the fence about coming, but at least if he does, he won't be alone. What do you mean? Troy is back. Who? Ew. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I forgot you don't even really feature him like that. He is just, he is such a moocha. And I swear, oh my God, Prince got on my nerves the way he used to talk about him. <laughs> yeah, I can relate. <sighs> so tell us how you really feel. No, mm -hmm. You just don't see it for him, huh? You know, and no. I'm, I don't know if you've ever met him, maybe once. Okay. Um, you, I know you, you never talked to him one day, but I don't really he talked Prince to told you. Um, but you just don't like that man. I don't, I don't. Mm. 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 Um, you might want to go get all zesty and clean in the Ooh, why? Oh, you trying to fuck? <laughs> Say less. <laughs> got the now running through my body. Look at the natural, I'm so exotic. <laughs> like a berry, we turn it proof. Deep of the wound, deep of the root. Your mother is on her way over here. What what did you say? I said your mom, she she's on her way. How? Why is she coming? I uh I found her on Facebook and I told her to come over. But why though? Why are you even communicating with my mother? You met my mom. What's the big issue? For the love of God, Daryl, you should have ran this past me first. This is such a step out of bounds. What are you hiding? Nothing. She doesn't know about me. I mean, I'm sure she does because, but still, we don't talk about it. It's a major mood breaker. Mm. Wait, um, you, you're not out to your mom? No. Why have we never had that discussion? Why have you never asked? Who did you tell her you were to me? Your boyfriend. I know you fucking lying. How can you be so fucking stupid, Daryl? Oh, I can't believe you. Well, well, I didn't, I did not expect you to act like this, babe. Babe, I was, I was trying to take the initiative and be proactive. I could rip your heart through your throat right now. Mm. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Nibet, no, please, just calm down. Just Don't fucking tell me to calm down, Daryl. I am mad. I am few. I am livid with you. Get away from me. Get away from okay, me. Okay, wait. How, how about I just call her? I call her and tell her not to calm. Yes, call her. Which, I mean, she probably already on her way anyway. Nope, it's perfect. Call her right now. Tell her we're busy. Tell her we're out somewhere fighting fires. Right. We are not available to see her, to okay. greet her, to I'm meet calling. her. Why aren't you calling I'm her calling now? now. I'm calling. Pick the phone up. All right. Watch your mouth talking to me. I could fucking kill you.